Imagine a world where sonic weapons silence crowds and flying cars zip through neon skies. But these weren't sci-fi dreams. They were real 1960s tech, deemed too dangerous, disruptive, or downright mind-blowing. Unearth the secrets of 10 banned 1960s tech inventions that were way ahead of their time. Number 10. The Hovercraft The Hovercraft, a marvel of 20th century engineering, defies conventional travel. Its story begins with Sir Christopher Cockerell's ingenuity in the 1950s. He envisioned a craft gliding on a cushion of air, liberating it from the constraints of land and sea. The iconic 1959 crossing of the English Channel by the SRN1 marked a pivotal moment showcasing the hovercraft's potential. From early prototypes to massive cross-channel ferries, these vehicles have served diverse roles, from military operations to disaster relief. Though varying in size and purpose, the hovercraft remains a testament to human innovation, a vessel that truly hovers between worlds. Number 9. The Space Elevator The Space Elevator, a concept stretching from Earth to geostationary orbit, captures the imagination with its promise of revolutionized space travel. Its roots trace back to Konstantin Tsiolkovsky in 1895, who envisioned a towering structure reaching the heavens. Later, Yuri Artsutinov in 1960 and Jerome Pearson in 1975 further developed the idea. Arthur C. Clarke's 1979 novel, The Fountains of Paradise, popularized the concept. The discovery of carbon nanotubes reinvigorated the dream, offering the potential for a cable capable of withstanding immense tension. This futuristic vision holds the potential to dramatically reduce the cost of accessing space, ushering in a new era of space exploration. Number 8. The Amphicar The Amphicar, a whimsical anomaly of the 1960s, dared to bridge land and water. This German-engineered marvel, the Amphicar Model 770, possessed a dual nature, a car that transformed into a boat. With a mere flick of a lever, its rear wheels propelled it through water, supplemented by twin propellers. Imagine cruising down a highway, then plunging into a lake, a spectacle of chrome and audacity. It symbolized the era's optimistic spirit, a playful defiance of conventional boundaries. Number 7. The Jetpack In the 1960s, the Jetpack, most famously the Bell Rocket Bell, captured the world's imagination, embodying futuristic dreams. Developed for the U.S. Army, it offered the tantalizing prospect of individual flight. These devices, powered by hydrogen peroxide, launched pilots into brief, exhilarating bursts of freedom. While visually stunning, as seen in appearances at events like the Super Bowl and in the James Bond film Thunderball, the reality was limited. Though its initial promise faded, the jetpack remains a symbol of the era's boundless technological optimism. Number 6. The Autoped The Autoped, a relic of early motorized personal transport, wasn't a 1960s phenomenon, but rather a quirky star of the late 1910s and early 1920s. Imagine a stand-up scooter, a rudimentary platform atop a small, single-cylinder engine. This motorized kick scooter boasted a folding tiller for storage and a rudimentary brake. It was a novelty, a symbol of the Roaring Twenties' fascination with speed and convenience. While it briefly captured the public's imagination, its impracticality and the rise of the automobile relegated it to a historical footnote. It's a charming glimpse into a time when personal mobility was being radically redefined, a precursor to the scooters we see today. Number 5. The Underwater City The Underwater City, a submerged marvel of 1960s science fiction, captured Cold War anxieties and futuristic dreams. Envisioned as a self-sustaining habitat, it mirrored contemporary obsessions with technological supremacy and deep-sea exploration. These cinematic cities, often dome-shaped or modular, were populated by aquanauts navigating a world of bubbling consoles and glowing screens. They represented both a refuge from surface tensions and a frontier for human expansion, echoing the era's space race. Their retro-futuristic aesthetic, with its mix of analog tech and optimistic design, remains a fascinating relic of a time when the ocean's depths seem the next great frontier. Number 4. The Dynosphere the Dynosphere, a bizarre single-passenger vehicle of the 1960s, epitomized the era's fascination with futuristic, albeit impractical, transportation. Conceived by inventor J. H. Purves, this gyroscopic wonder resembled a giant, motorized hamster wheel. Powered by a small engine, the rider sat within the sphere, 
steering by shifting their weight, creating a disconcerting rolling motion. It was a spectacle of chrome and novelty, often featured in exhibitions and promotional events, promising a revolution that never materialized. Its inherent instability and limited functionality relegated it to a quirky footnote in automotive history, a testament to the boundless, sometimes misguided optimism of a space age generation. Number three, the picture phone. In the 1960s, the picture phone emerged, a tantalizing glimpse into a future of visual communication. Born from the labs of Bell System, it was a bold attempt to merge the telephone with television. Its debut at the 1964 New York World's Fair sparked wonder, as visitors experienced the novelty of seeing the person they were speaking to. However, the picture phone faced significant hurdles. Its bulky equipment, high cost, and the need for specialized lines hindered widespread adoption. Though it appeared in futuristic depictions, like in 2001, A Space Odyssey, it remained a technological curiosity for many. Ultimately, despite its visionary promise, the picture phone's era faded, a testament to the challenges of pioneering technology. Number two, the bubble house. The 1960s, a crucible of audacious innovation, saw the rise of the bubble house, a vision of prefabricated plastic dome dwellings. These structures, epitomizing the era's futuristic zeal, promised affordable, adaptable living. Yet they faced a swift and decisive backlash. Building codes, resistant to the novel materials and construction methods, deemed them unsafe. Fire hazards and structural vulnerabilities were cited, effectively halting their mass adoption. This technological dream, a symbol of space-age optimism, was grounded by the very regulations designed to protect society, a poignant reminder of the tension between visionary invention and established norms. Number one, the Ford Nucleon. The Ford Nucleon, a 1957 concept, epitomized the atomic age's boundless optimism. Envisioned as a nuclear-powered car, it aimed to replace gasoline with a rear-mounted compact reactor. This dream, fueled by the era's nuclear fervor, imagined cars traveling thousands of miles on a single charge. However, the Nucleon remained a scale model. The daunting reality of miniaturizing nuclear reactors and ensuring safety proved insurmountable. Radiation shielding and the sheer size of necessary components posed insurmountable challenges. Thus, the Nucleon, a symbol of futuristic ambition, became a relic of a technological path not taken, a testament to the gap between visionary concepts and practical realities. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for latest updates about the cinema industry.